So today we're talking about the best CPU to pair with the RX 9060 XT 16GB. This card sits right around 350 bucks, so it's mid-range, and the big question is, which processor should you buy so you're not wasting money, but also not bottlenecking the GPU? And I'll keep it simple. We'll go through the best options, why they make sense, and I'll also tell you what to do if you already have something like a 5600X. So, let's talk about the first card. First up, the Ryzen 5 7600. Honestly, this is the sweet spot. Six cores, 12 threads, super power efficient, and you're getting the whole modern AM5 platform with DDR5 and PCIe 5 support. It's kind of the safe option. Perfect for 1440p gaming, and even at 1080p, it holds up unless you're really pushing for those super high frame rates. Now, if you're more into squeezing out every little bit of FPS, especially at 1080p in esports or high refresh games, the Ryzen 5 7600X is the one. It's basically the same CPU, but clocked higher, so you just get better single core performance and smoother frames when the CPU actually matters. It's like the 7600, but a little more serious about gaming. And then there's the Ryzen 5 9600X. This one's newer and built on Zen 5, and yeah, it's just faster. Better single core, higher boost clocks, and overall the best option if you want the smoothest gameplay, especially for competitive 1080p. It's a bit more expensive, but if you want something that feels fresh and future-proof, this is the one to grab. Now here's something important. If you already have a Ryzen 5 5600X or anything better from that generation, you're honestly fine. Pair it with the RX 9060 XT and it'll still do great, especially at 1440p, where the GPU does most of the heavy lifting anyway. At 1080p, sure, you might lose a few frames compared to the newer chips, but it's nothing game-breaking. So don't feel like you have to upgrade if you already own one. And before I wrap up, some of you might be wondering, what about Intel? Well, honestly, the main reason I didn't include them here is because for this price range, AMD just makes more sense right now. And yes, Intel also has some great processors, and if you find one, you can definitely pair it, but with a similar price, Intel is still not clear about its future upgrade. So that's pretty much it. Tell me in the comments what resolution and FPS you're aiming for, because that really decides which processor makes the most sense for you. If this video helped you, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next one.